anyway we've got a lot of stuff to talk yeah just as an aside before we do anything else i was uh, perusing as i tend to do uh, the uh, just yesterday i guess it was <clears throat> and found that according to a rasmussen survey the majority of americans are not in favor of abolishing ice the immigration enforcement agency uh, the poll found that just 25% of Americans are in favor of abolishing that agency. An overwhelming majority, 55%, said no. We don't see any reason to do it, don't want it done. And the other 20% were undecided. They went on to an analyze this and measure it. Uh, among political affiliations and found a majority of Republicans, independents, and Democrats agreed with keeping ICE. However, the majority among Democrats was slimmer. It was 44 to 36 percent. But still, a tremendous number, a uh, preponderance of Democrats are in favor of keeping it. When respondents were asked about the level of immigration enforcement, a majority also expressed they believe U.S. law enforcement isn't strict enough. The poll found that 46% of Americans believe immigration enforcement should be more strict. Only 33% said it was too strict. 13% said enforcement levels are adequate. At the same time, only 41% said they believe law enforcement is not aggressive enough in deporting illegal immigrants. That represents an improvement over last year when 62% told Rasmussen that deportation efforts needed to increase. I think the American public is starting to pay attention to this. They're starting to read, see, watch uh, all of this, and they're starting to get a different picture, a more accurate picture. You know, we haven't really paid a whole lot of attention to immigration. At least I haven't. It's something that's going on on the border. It doesn't really affect me. And everybody's got their hobby horse they want to run, and you just sort of stand back. But now it's come front and center, and we're starting to make a decision as a society. Also on Thursday of last week, I don't know if you are a Jeopardy fan. My wife and I watch Jeopardy. I usually get home from work about 7.30. Uh, so, you know, Jeopardy's just coming on, and we sit and watch that together. But there were Jeopardy contestants last Thursday asked a question. The question was, in 2017, this ex-National Security Advisor pleaded guilty to lying to the FBI. One contestant answered Kelly, a reference to White House Chief of Staff John Kelly. Another contestant answered Gorka, a reference to Sebastian Gorka, who formerly served as President Donald Trump's deputy assistant. And, of course, both answers are incorrect. The correct answer is Michael Flynn, who served as Trump's national security advisor for less than a month before resigning for allegedly lying to Vice President Mike Pence about contact he had with Russian diplomats during the presidential transition. A man who is now uh, trying to work through the legalities, he's lost his home, uh, he's lost his fortune, as it were. Uh, it's an expensive proposition, uh, fighting in court. Uh, <laughs> But the question on Jeopardy was worth a thousand dollars. The uh, CNN guy uh, King said, "Only the smartest of the smart get to be on Jeopardy, right?" So, what does this little exchange last night say about the nation's focus or lack thereof on the whole Mueller Russia meddling collusion investigation? He went on to say, I'll take Russia meddling for a thousand, Alex. Pun. I think that's where we are as a society. We've made our decision. We're not so certain that uh, the Democrats or the critics uh, of the president are right. We're not so sure the president is perfect. Uh, but there's more here than meets the eye. 
and we're satisfied, I think, the majority of us, that it's being handled correctly. Minus all of the mess with the lawyers, the courts, and the special investigating team and all the rest of it. It's costing us a fortune, and it's costing other people a lot more than that. Uh, you've heard some of it already. With that, we're going to jump into our first segment. We're going to look a little bit at uh, President Trump's uh, choice for U.S. Supreme Court. That's going to happen tomorrow evening, uh, about this time, 9 o'clock uh, tomorrow night. He's going to announce it. So stay tuned. We're going to, we're going to talk about it. We'll be right back.